minute rounds in the Coliseum Tournament, 81 kilogram weight division. Doamnelor și domnilor, următoarea luptă are trei runde a câte trei minute. Introducing first to the blue corner, Mircea Dumitrescu. În colțul albastru, Mircea Dumitrescu. And now introducing his opponent to the red corner, Alexandru Stan. Și adversarul lui Mircea în colțul roșu, Alexandru Stan. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He's 23 years old and stands 185 centimeters tall and weighed in at 80 kilos. His professional record, 11 victories and five defeats, five wins coming by way of knockout. He is from CBU, Romania. This is Mitchell. And his opponent, standing across the ring and fighting out of the red corner. 27 years old and stands 181 centimeters tall. He weighed in at 80 kilos. With a professional record of two victories and four defeats from Romania, he is known as Stanica. This is Alexandro Stan! Your referee at the bell, Yunus Ado Dirase. La centru. Ascultați foarte atenție, comenzile mele nu loviți după stop. Bateți mănușile, mergeți în coțurile voastre. Arbitru, 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 prima repriză, timp, fight! You can hear the crowd support at the announcements there for the man in the blue gloves, Mircea Dumitrescu. This is his hometown in Sibiu, Romania, deep in Transylvania country. Inside low kick lands from his opponent, Alexandru Stan. Stan four years older and four centimeters shorter also a lot less experienced than the hometown boy who just missed with that right hand and he comes the one two combination one minute gone by here in the opening round
Ooh, Stop. I think he, uh, what happened there? Did he just lose his balance or what? Fight. He, he fell very awkwardly to the ring. I was wondering there for a moment if he had an injury to his leg or if he just somehow lost his balance. But it seems to be okay if he is in any pain. He's masking it well. But you can see he's trying to dodge those low kicks. He does not want to be kicked in the legs. Oh! And he just got clocked with a right hand upside the head. And Stop. down he goes again for the second time. There is something seriously wrong here. Fight. I, I believe with Alexander Stan. He does not look to be in very good shape here. Still moving backwards Stop. and eating powerful blows. Fight. Looking to cut down the ring again, and now both men tem tumble hard to the ground. Fight! Inside 30 seconds already in this opening round. More hard shots as they mix it up here. End of round one. Arbitru, 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 repriza doua, team fight! There goes the bell in round two, underway in this one. I wonder exactly what it was that injured at some point, I think, or maybe just discombobulated. Alexander Stan, but we'll see what he's got left here in round two, but it doesn't look good thus far. Can Mircea Dimitrescu close the show here? Oh Stop. boy, a big body kick goes in there. It did ricochet off the forearms, it looked like, but it did make contact to the midsection as well. Keep in mind, folks, we will also be seeing the finals of the 65 kilogram championship tournament later tonight will be the final fight of the evening in which we will see Adrian Maxim and Maxim Raylion go head to head for the championship. That's later tonight. But right now, one minute gone by in round number two in this 81 kilogram fight here. Stop. And it looks like there's some blood coming. Oh, well, oh that is nasty. That is nasty. He's dripping blood Magic. all over the ring. It is just pouring out of his face like a fountain. I think there was a headbutt. I think there was an unintentional headbutt. And that sucker is just bleeding all over the place. Let's take another look. Yep, right there. There was a headbutt right there. They clashed heads. Or maybe it was a shoulder. But whatever it was, you can see that, oh, Lord, somebody better call his mama. That is, that is sickening. There's no way they're going to get that thing shut. 
I got a feeling that this one's history. I don't think they're going I don't think he's going to make it. They're they're going to do what they can. They're applying some pressure. You can apply all the pressure you want. You can put an anvil on that thing. It's not going to stop the bleeding. I can hear everyone at ringside just kind of muttering to themselves that they think this one's over, and I would have to agree with that. I would be hard-pressed to disagree. There's no way that the referee or the judges, if they are truly doing their jobs and are looking out for the safety of both fighters, that this thing can continue. I think they're going to give him every chance possible simply because this is his hometown, that people want to see the fight continue they want to see a winner i think he was cl clearly in control of this fight uh for the for the entire duration but that cut just does not look good boy he that thing just opened up like the grand canyon and the blood just came a flowing look at that you can see that 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 cloth there that band is just soaking up but now the pain is starting to set in too. When she presses hard on the cut, it's sending pain all through the head and the face, all the way down to the tips of his toes. And there's disappointment. That's it. They're calling it off. So this one is over, I have a feeling. Referee has just notified me here that it is, in fact, over. So I'll go up to the ring and make the announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight comes to a premature ending in the second round, and the judges have decided that this bout is a no contest. Doamnelor și domnilor, lupta, după cum ați văzut și dumneavoastră, s-a încheiat prematur. Mircea Dumitrescu s-a accidentat, accidentat, așadar, arbitrii au hotărât ca această luptă să se încheie no contest. 